Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me. Today I get to share with you a project, five projects using the brand new release over at the LDRS Creative Shop. Um, I did share with you a video on everything that's in the release. If you missed it, I'll link it at the end. But for today, we're gonna to create a variety of cards from fall to anniversary to Halloween um, using the items, a few of the items that are in the brand new release. So we're gonna jump in and start off with our card number one. I brought, in, I brought in my Mini Misty here and we are gonna stamp and color in and then using the coordinating dies, I'm gonna die cut out a flower that's in the Hydrangea stamp set. I'm gonna do both leaves and then the sentiment that says hello. Um, I'm using my Raven e pad because it's alcohol marker friendly and that's what I use to color in my images. Now the Happy doesn't have a die that coordinates with it, but it was easy to fussy cut around. I'm just gonna ink it up. And then off screen, I did color in my, my images and then cut them out just to save a little bit of time. But this is such a pretty stamp set. You can see how gorgeous it is. And you would think a stamp like this would be hard to color, but it was so easy to color. I really enjoyed it. Okay, for my background on my card base, I'm gonna use the scallop circle die set, the two largest. I'm gonna to layer together. Oh, I wanted to tell you, um, I store my dies on a magnetic sheet. The magnetic sheet does not come with the dies, guys. That was from my own stash, but I just wanted to let you guys know that. <laughs> but there's my frame, and then I'm for, for my card base. This is my card base that I'm gonna use the um the in the breeze die with so i want to add stitch detail directly on my card base so i ran them both through my die cut machine so i have my frame and then behind my frame you can see i already have my um my little stitch detail i'm not going to use it as like a breeze die i want to use it more as a detail die so i popped up my frame and placed that on my card base now all i'm going to do is add some foam squares behind my hydrangea here and kind of arrange my flower a little bit more towards the left and then I'll pop up my happy and add that and then I did stamp the word um, the sentiment that says happy anniversary I just trimmed that down with my paper trimmer we'll place that right below the happy and then that completes that card guys now for card number two I have to use the paper um, the um, oh my gosh it's so cute pick up the patch I, um, I wanted to do some layering and so I love the acorn in it I love acorns I think they're perfect for fall and so for today's second card I wanted to make a real elegant card so I'm just going to use the acorn um, layering stamp here now I'm using my ink pad I'm starting off with my first layer and we are stamping with iced tea stamped it a few times to get a nice solid image and then I'm gonna go in with my second layer. Second layer, I'm using coffee bean ink. We're gonna stamp that. And you can see how gorgeous this pine cone is. Or not pine cone, ah, acorn. <laughs> For my acorn third layer, I'm gonna use scarlet rose. I wanted it just to differentiate my acorns from the leaves, so I thought the red would go perfect. So I used the coordinating dies to cut these out. And then those are ready to go. Now I wanted to use my garden wreath for this card. So I'm gonna die cut um, my wreath out with gold card stock and then also with fun foam, white fun foam, because I wanted to add a little bit of dimension behind my wreath. So I'll run all of these through my die cut machine and then um, they're ready to go here. I'm gonna stamp the sentiment from the same stamp set that we used with the acorn. It's so pretty. It says forever grateful for you. And again, I used the coffee bean ink for that. And I kind of used my gold wreath as a, as a guide, but I added glue behind my fun foam, added that to my card base and then popped my wreath right on top. So my wreath has a little bit of dimension. I'm gonna go ahead and add my acorns. And then these little pieces were the pieces that were left over from the wreath and their leaves. And I thought this would add a nice little added dimension too to my wreath too. So I just used glue and tucked them underneath the acorns. I'm gonna add a little splash of sparkle with some gold glitter drops. And then that finishes off my second project. I think it creates a very elegant card. 
Okay, for my third project today, we're gonna to use the, the two smallest dies in the scallop circle die set. I die cut those out along with my over the hills um, border die. Just I used white cardstock for both of them. And then I did fussy cut out one of the little bird houses in the Christmas cottage pattern paper pack. Um, I thought it was so pretty and I wanted to make a just because winter card. So I'm gonna use my paper trimmer and trim down my hillside so it fits um, the same size as my snowflake pattern paper, which by the way was four inches by five and a quarter. I already adhered that to my card base. I go ahead and tuck my heel right behind my heel side. And then before we adhere that, we're gonna stamp our sentiment. For this card, I chose sending happy mail. I'm just gonna use my Raven ink and stamp that in the lower left corner here. And then um, after we have that stamped, I did add foam tape behind my scallop circle frame. And I'm gonna add it behind my hillside here too. Tape that in the bottom for a little bit of dimension. And then we'll go ahead and tape down our center circle right in the center of our card. And then we'll add our frame, making sure it's centered and then we'll pop up our birdhouse. So this is just using the pattern paper. I think it, it was such a pretty paper pack and I love the birdhouse. So it's a pretty simple card using just the pattern paper. Now I want to add some sparkle. So I'm gonna use my glue and go over the top of the birdhouse and the top of my heels. And then we're gonna add some clear glitter to it. We'll just shake off the excess. And then we have a simple sending happy mail card but it looks like you spend a lot of time on it. <laughs> I love that paper pack. Okay, for my next card, we're already jumping in. I have to use down Main Street border die and I have to use this cloud border die. I'm cutting out two of the cloud border, um, the cloudy, at the clouds edge border dies, I'm sorry. And then one of the Main Street border dies. Um, my background, I used some of the pattern paper from the Christmas Cottage. I went ahead and popped up my first At the Clouds Edge border on the very top of my card base. And then behind my down Main Street scene here, I'm gonna add some gold glitter cardstock. And then I'll pop it up and place that on my card base along with, you can see I already stamped my sentiment that says Happy Holidays. The Happy Holidays is actually from the Hydrangea stamp set. It has uh, all occasions, even Happy Easter in that. So nice and versatile stamp set. I went ahead and flipped over my At The Clouds Edge die and placed it on the bottom of my panel like it's a little snow bank. Then it added some black and white baker's twine and that finishes off that card. I think it creates a fun little Christmas scene. Okay, for my final card today, we're gonna make a cutesy little Halloween card. And so we're gonna stamp and color in and die cut out our images here. I did it all at once, sorry guys, just to save a little bit of time. So I have the mummy and the moon, the little spider, and then the little kitty cat. Um, there's also a little sentiment in there that says eek. <laughs> so I stamped that and die cut that out too. Now I'm gonna use, I wanted to use, my gosh, this cute little up a tree. Um, border die. I'm going to cut it out using pattern paper from the sweater weather paper pack. And then I did, I cut out a frame using one of the um, practically square frame dies. Now, for me, the easiest way to color in my tree trunk was just using a Copic marker. I just needed three of them colored in and it worked out perfectly because I have my green heel and then I also have the the green tree choppers that were using the same pattern paper. I did want to add a little bit of shading, so I used a darker Copic marker just to add a little detail to, to my tree toppers. And then I did trim down my up a tree border just so it fit on the inside of my square panel here. Now I wanted to add a little color to my panel, so I'm gonna mask off just the scalloped edge. There's stitch detail on there, so I went right up to the stitch detail, and then I'm gonna color in the background with um, my LDRS Creative Hybrid inks. Starting off with the alloy, I'm gonna just use my finger dauber and add a little bit of gray to our background. 
I wanted to kind of create a soft night sky, so I thought alloy would work perfectly for that. After I'm happy with that, I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom because we're going to cover that up with our um, up a tree border there. Okay, now for my moon, to give it a little halo, I'm going to use my dandelion ink. I'm just going to add a little bit of shading so it looks like my moon's glowing. And I think that looks wonderful. Okay, now you can see when I remove my post-it note tape, I have a white border all around and I just love that effect. In fact, when I trimmed down my epitre border, I made sure I was inside of my scalloped line. Okay, now I already have popped up my um, epitre border and then also my moon, placed that on my panel. And then now we're gonna stamp our sentiment. I chose the one that says, you are just too cute to spook. I'm stamping that with my Raven ink right below my um, my panel here. And I love the little spider in this little stamp set. So I wanna stamp that um, a few times directly on my card base. Um, I decided to go once hanging from the sentiment towards the end and then once on the top left. And then I did just color it in with a couple of my Copic markers. I'm gonna flip over my panel, add some foam tape behind here place that right above the sentiment so we have a little added dimension and then we're going to add some foam tape behind each one of our little elements including our little mummy which is so cute <laughs> his hands held out so I thought it'd be cute if he was holding the spider and then I'm going to add the word eek and then also my little kitty cat that um, is sitting on top of the pumpkin there I think that looks adorable Okay, now we're gonna add a little sparkle using our shimmer pen. I'm gonna go over my little mummy and the moon, the little pumpkin for a little added sparkle. And that is off card number five. So here's a look at all five cards that I made today. I kind of sped through it, but um, they are super easy to do and I just love the outcome. We have anniversary and fall or Thanksgiving, a couple Christmas uh, or winter, and then a Halloween. Lots of variety, but that's the new release that came out with LDRS Creative. And I encourage you guys to check out the shop. I'll leave the link down below. I wish you a fantastic day, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. We will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.